Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Thursday, 8 a.m. You guys know what time that is. Motivational morning time. And today I'm talking about gaining or, in this case, regaining confidence. Now, when I was in high school, which is probably the toughest time I had to deal with, uh, you know, a lot of issues, I think from a mental standpoint, uh, I tore my MCL, PCL, and uh, severely damaged my ACL, almost a complete knee blowout <clears throat> while I was playing football. I also re-injured it, re-aggravated it in college, but uh, because I had kind of gone through this process, I think I was a lot more prepared for uh, the type of training I guess I had to do in order to uh, get myself back up to snuff. Now, you know, I, I told you guys before, I was never really serious about uh, sports, but that's because things were almost handed to me, I guess, uh, uh, since that I didn't have to work hard. So I developed kind of some bad habits when it came to uh, my athletic ability. Now, uh, when this happened, uh, I was 14, I think, years old when I tore my, uh, my, my knee, basically, I'm um, just for this purpose, I'm just going to say it blew my knee out. Um, and it was the second game of the season. Uh, it was a, uh, I think I was a second or third varsity player to ever, uh, I'm sorry, freshman to play varsity at our school. And, uh, you know, it was, it was kind of a big deal. And I remember when it happened, you know, I was 30 yards down the field. Again, I said it was fourth quarter. And, uh, you know, I got hit in a way where I couldn't see the, the person that actually hit me because he, he kind of came from my blind side and I was looking forward. So, you know, I just had no idea this was coming. And, uh, you know, immediately when it happened, I was like, ah, I, I know something is wrong. You know, I tried to get up and, uh, you know, my leg felt really loose and I just couldn't couldn't put any pressure on it. And uh, we got an, an, an MRI and confirmed uh, pretty much, this is like a couple of days later, that uh, tore my MCL. And, you know, I, I went through surgery. And I think the part where confidence started to come back, you know, I had to go through rehab, which is, if any of you out there have gone through rehab, it is a tough process. It's very tough. And, uh, you know, you have to have the right kind of mental state and the people around you have to be uh I guess supportive and, and, and I had all of those things. So this kind of sped up my process to regaining confidence. But, you know, when I went back to school while I was in this time period, you know, I couldn't do a lot of the same things that I had come accustomed to doing just, just cause, you know, I couldn't walk down the steps <laughs> and I can do that for a very long time. I couldn't walk up or walk down steps without having help. I couldn't, um, you know, once I got off of my crutches and I could walk, so to speak, I couldn't jog. I couldn't move quickly. Uh, I couldn't move laterally very well. And these were all things that, you know, kind of weighed on me because I, I couldn't do things that I had done for pretty, pretty much 10 years up to that point. And I, I think it really took a toll on my confidence. I remember after going through rehab and basically being allowed to play, uh, there was a time when we had like winter conditioning uh, is what we do for football. And then I played basketball as well. And um, I remember coming back from rehab and having, you know, all these, again, all these expectations from people like, what is he going to be able to do? Um, and you know, I played my first basketball game and I was just so out of shape. I, uh, and I had to wear this huge, ugly brace, uh, and I just wasn't, wasn't in the right mental state for it. And so where I started to recover, where things started to get better was, um, not even that year because, you know, I tried doing some other, uh, like track, I tried track and field and things weren't the same. Uh, it, it started, I think, that summer, uh, the following, it's almost a year later, uh, the following summer is where I really started to regain some confidence. Uh, you know, I'd been working out enough on that leg to, and enough exercises that it started to strengthen. And uh, I had, again, the right supporting cast around me to make my uh, transition 
into kind of regaining the same footsteps that I was, you know, going along before I got hurt, uh, a reality. So when you're trying to regain confidence, I think something that's very important if you guys kind of heard this is having a good supporting cast. Um, and sometimes you have to look to people and I've talked about this before and, and say, are you right for me? And if you have the right supporting cast, they're going to make sure that you uh, progress and uh, you make progression in whatever you're doing. So for me, my supporting cast consisted of coaches, some of my really close friends and, uh, you know, my mom was huge and my brother. So family, friends. And I think coaches in this case were very good motivators for me uh, in regaining my confidence. And the other thing that you you have to do is establish habits and practice. So for me, it started in rehab. That's when I started establishing habits that I needed to do to make my knee better and in turn make me better. So I started to... Um, you know, I exercise the knee a lot more. Um, I would do flexibility things. Uh, and those key areas of me strengthening my leg, my knee in this case, helped me to establish habits that started to take toll and improve um, the progression of it getting better. And then the last thing I did was I started measuring my performance and I didn't have, I didn't really set any goals per se, but I started measuring my performance in a sense that I, I wasn't going before I got hurt. I was going the time period of when I got hurt and saying, well, okay, I, I played this basketball game and I got tired in the third quarter and I, or the second quarter and I was winded. Let's see how much longer I can do. And then track and field, which was fantastic for measuring my performance. I would just kind of look and see, okay, my times are getting lower. My jumps are, my long jumps are getting better. It doesn't hurt when I'm landing on my knee now and long jump. Um, and for football, it was just a matter of overcoming the fear of being hurt, which takes a long time. So that was one I think that probably took the longest. And I stopped wearing my brace, I think, the my senior year. So I think my senior year is probably when I was the most confident in my abilities on the football field again, as opposed to the other years. And again, that's all about supporting cast, establishing those habits, and then kind of internally measuring my performance. So those are the steps that I kind of took to regain confidence in sports. But you know, it doesn't just apply there. It could be anything. You know, I'll take, for example, my YouTube uh, or doing these, for example, motivational morning, which I'm not a motivational speaker at all. But it's just a matter of me, again, practicing, having the right supporting cast and measuring my performance. So those things all make a difference in, you know, my ability to gain confidence. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And until the next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.